So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna roast this whole cauliflower. Uh, I'm gonna serve it with some bulgur wheat, which I absolutely love. Uh, and that's gonna be a, a, literally a meal that can serve upwards of six people. The cauliflower is set like this, but if you can take off this part, right? Let's just chop this up. This is crunchy, tender, and really, really nice. Keep it, don't waste it away. It adds flavor, it tastes good. So these also, if you ever think of, you know, the taboo word kale, um, these will work like that and these will crisp up like chips. Edible, keep it. We will use these in our dish today, so don't worry. I'm not gonna take them all off, just the biggest of them all. I'm gonna put these in the fridge, save them for another day, uh, but I'm gonna keep the bigger ones, the ones that are really tight, the ones that are really close. So this is what I've got. And I know it looks like it's wrapped up, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna poach this in the poaching liquid over there. The best thing to do is to make sure that stock is well salted. Cauliflower's gonna go in there. And that is it. Just sit. Easy. Next, we're gonna make a, like a green sauce. We'll have parsley, we'll have garlic, we'll have some lemon, we'll have some salt, uh, we'll have some pepper, um, and that'll be it. Just really simple dressing. There's your coli, so it's all full of flavor. All these are gonna roll over. They're all gonna go crispy on the skin, on the, on the leaves here. I'm just gonna cool it down now, put it in the fridge for a little bit of time, uh, just to speed up the process. If you're doing this ahead of time, you can leave it on the bench. It's all the same. All right. Okay, so it's cooled down, which is great. Still got all the leaves on there. These are gonna crisp up beautifully. They're gonna turn into a bit of an ugly mess, but I promise you, it's worth the wait. Straight into the oven. So everything's pretty roasty, looking very good. It's nice and soft. These are gone completely crunchy. We've got this bulgur wheat, raisins, uh, cashews, lots of olive oil, lots of salt. And then our collie, straight down the middle, making sure we've got a bit of everything crunchy. So delicious, everything's cooked through. Lay that on top. Finally, the big sauce. So that's my roast cauliflower, bulgur wheat with cashews, fried raisins, and then a green sauce. 